So in this video, we will learn how to use Excel to calculate the probability for binomial distribution. So the question we are looking at is about the defective parts. So the question number two, a motor company has purchased steel parts from the supplier for several years and has found that 10% of the parts must be returned because they are defective. An order of the 25 parts is received. So by reading this uh, first paragraph, and you actually can find the value for two parameters in binomial distribution. So the first one is our 10%. So in the binomial distribution, we need the probability for success. So we know for the event, so for every part, you only can have two possible outcomes, either defective or not defective. And so if you look at question number A, what is probably that two parts are defective? So consider defective or not defective, we more care about the defective. So which means defective will be considered as outcome named as success. So the 10% is the probability of the defective. So the 10% will be the probability for success. And in the formula, we're using P to denote the probability of success. So P will equal to 0.1, 10%. And we have another parameter, which is the number of identical trials. So then if you read the later of this paragraph, an order of 25 parts is received. So the number of identical uh, trial will be 25, so n equal to 25. So after I identify these two values, and then we can type in our Excel, so n equal to 25 and p equal to 0.1. So make sure you always convert your percentage to decimal place uh, because the Excel will have trouble to read your percentage when you are working on the probabilities. So after you identify n and p's value, in the class we said uh, for the binomial distribution, we actually have to identify three parameters value, m, p, and also x. So how we know which x, what is what x value? So now we go back to look at the questions. So question A, what is the probability that the two parts are defective? So the x is the number of the success, so which means uh, the number of the parts going to be failed we are, look, we are looking for in this case will equal to x equal to, 10, uh, equal to 2. Equal to 2, so that is what we are looking for. So this is question number A. We are looking for probably x equal to 2. So now we look at question number b. What is probably that no more than 3 of these parts are defective? So no more than 3 means x smaller and uh, no more than equal to 3. So now that's what we are looking for in question number b. We are looking for the probability of x smaller and equal to 2. Are equal to 3. And now we look at question number C. What is probably that less than 3 of these parts are defective? So x smaller than 3, right? So now we go back to the Excel. So this is what we're going to looking for in question number C. We're looking for probability of x smaller than 3. And now uh, the next, what is probably that at least 3 of these parts? So at least means x will larger and don't forget it's at least equal to 3 of this part so larger than equal to 3 and so this is question number D we're looking for the probability of x larger and equal to 3 and the last one so the last one is asking for what is probably that more than 3 of this part so more than 3 will means x larger than 3 so let's type in the probability of x larger than 3. And later I will have two more cases, but let's look at this first five case first. So one more thing, the first three formula, first three questions you will use the uh, same formula, and the last two you will use different formulas. So the formula we will use is called BINOM dist. BINOM dist. So parentheses. So now you can see Excel give you a hint. So we need a four entries: numbers s, trials, probably s, cumulative. So the number of s is the upper limit of your x that can be achieved. 
So the upper limit of x that can be achieved for this case, x equal to 2. So which means it, the highest value x can get actually going to be 2. That's why we type in 2, comma. And then the next is trials. So trial means the number of independent trials. So in a class, we use the notation n to indicate the trials. So we know the trial is 25. So we type. We, you can type in 25, or you can directly select the cell. In this case, it's B1, where I place the value of my uh, trials. And then common. The next one is probability S. It stands for the probability of success. So which means, uh, what's the probability for a part going to be defective in this case? We already identified 10% or 0.1. So then we select the cell, or you can just type in 0.1. And then common. So now you have to make a decision, true or false. So keep in mind, if you're looking for the case that x equal to one value, and you try to find probability, and you should choose false. If you're looking for the probability of x smaller and equal to one value, and then you will choose true. So for this case, we are looking for x equal to 2. So that why we should choose false instead of true. So then you can type in false and then close the parenthesis and push enter. So this is going to be the probability of uh, the two parts out of this 25 parts are defective. So our next question is x smaller and equal to 3. And we're using the same formula, B-I-N-O-M dot D-I-S-T. So now, as I just mentioned, the first entry, number S, number of success, means the highest value X can be achieved. So if you think about X smaller and equal to 3, so the X highest value X can achieve will be 3. So then you type in 3, comma, and we do the same thing as you did the first question. Trials, we select trials. And then we select the probability of success. And here you need to know we are not looking for x equal to 3. We are looking for x smaller and equal to 3. So that's why we are using true instead of false. So now after you type in true, and then you can push enter. So this will be the probability for x smaller and equal to 3 for this case. And next is for x smaller than 3. We are using the same formula, B-I-N-O-M dot D-I-S-T, parenthesis. So x smaller than 3, but remember our first entry will be the highest value x can be achieved. So x smaller than 3, which means x cannot be 3. And then what is going to be the highest value x can be achieved? Yes, you have to keep in mind, binomial distribution is a discrete on probability distribution which means x can only be integer. So if x cannot achieve 3, so the next value uh, integer that is smaller than 3 will be 2. So actually we should type in 2 instead of 3 here, because 2 is the highest value x can be achieved. And then common. Now we do the same thing, select the trials, and select the probability of success. success. And then, since we're looking for x smaller than equal to 2, we're not looking for x equal to 2, so we're going to type in true again. So then you push enter. So you can see the first three questions, we are all using the B-I-N-O-M, the D-I-S-T. The reason is the question either asks for x equal to 1 value, x smaller than equal to 1 value, or x smaller than 1 value. So now we're going to move on D and E. So D actually is asking for x larger and equal to 3. So for this situation, and also E, x larger than 3. For these two scenarios, we are using different formulas. And so when you are seeing x larger, one, larger than 1 value, or x larger and equal to, equal, x larger and equal, larger and equal to 1 value. And we should be using the following formula. And the initial will be very similar, B-I-N-O-M the, the D-I-S-T. And then you need to type one more I, um, one more word, that is the range. So we have range and parentheses. So first, you also need the four uh, entries, but the first entry will be the number of trials. So we know it is 25, comma. And the second entry is the probability of success. We also know it, 10%, 0.1, comma. So the number S and the number S2 is the lowest value X can be achieved 
and that the highest value x can be achieved. So in this case, x larger than or equal to 3. So the smallest value x can be achieved will be 3, right? And how about the highest value? So keep in mind, we're only testing 25 parts, so which means the highest value you can get for x is all 25 parts going to be defective. So that's why the highest value of x can achieve, although x larger than or equal to 3. But x also has to be smaller and equal to 25. So then you type in 25, close the parenthesis, and you push enter. So this will give you the probability for x larger than or equal to 3. So next question. And again, we're looking for x larger than 3, so you should know you should use binom.dist.range. binom.dist.range. Parenthesis. Uh, very similar pro uh, uh, step uh, selection as question number D. You select number of trials, and you select the probability of success, and then the lower limit, a little bit challenging. So x larger than 3, which means x cannot equal to 3. So then what is the smallest value x can be achieved? Yes, you're right. It's going to be 4 because, again, x has to be integer. So the next highest value, uh, integer higher than 3, will be 4, and 4 can be achieved. So that's why the lower boundary will be 4. And how about lar high, large, uh, high, uh, highest boundary, upper boundary? Again, x cannot be larger than 25, so the 25 will be your upper boundary. And then you close the parentheses and push enter. So then this will be the probability for x larger than 3. So now let me add two more examples. F. So how about we are looking for the probability of x larger, uh, larger and equal to 2, but smaller and equal to 5. So if that's the case, and uh, we are using the same format we use in question number E, we type in binom the dist the range parentheses and now we select trials and we select probability of success and the next one the number of s which is lower limit of x can be achieved so x larger than equal to 2 so 2 will be the lowest value and then x has to smaller than equal to 5 so 5 will be the highest value x can be achieved and close the parentheses push enter so this will be the probability for x larger than or equal to 2 and smaller than or equal to 5. And next one. So we are looking for the probability of 2 smaller than x, smaller than 5. So if this is the case, we're still using the same formula, binom.dist.range. And the same, select trial, select probability. So what is my lowest value? So x larger than 2, which means x cannot equal to 2. So the next highest value than 2 integer will be 3. So that is the smallest value x can be achieved, which is 3. So how about the highest value? So x cannot achieve 5, but the, uh, the next integer smaller than 5 will be 4. So actually this probability will be lowest value is 3. Highest value x can be achieved will be 4, and then you close the parenthesis and push enter. So this will be the probability for um, the x larger than 2 and smaller than 5. And keep in mind, and all the questions will require the decimal place, and uh, so we read the question carefully. So if, for instance, they require four decimal places, and a click home tab, and on the number section, you will see Increasing decimal or decreasing decimal, so you can you can decrease decimal to four, so that you will get the rounding number right. So instead of manually rounding the number, and so this is the end of this video. And uh, good luck in your homework.